Good afternoon everybody. Today it's Saturday and because Milo and Coco are quiet I've decided to paint with you. So I'm gonna take my seat. I've already baked all the babies. I've made my colors ready as you can see here. Can you see guys? We're going to do the creasing today. I hope you've done all your veining. And we're going to do some creasing, which I love doing. But now, because I've got three kids, it's going to take me quite a long time. And I hope you understand all about these little sponges I made. And you just have to dab them in. It's very easy. If you want, if you don't understand, I can make another video for that. But I'm gonna not waste my time today because my video went off. And I'm going to see if this, yeah, this is the right place to show things because I don't know, I'm sitting, I don't, I can't see the camera. And I hope it's not going to stop. But let's do the veining. And take yourself, make yourself sit nicely. Put quiet music on. And let's start. So I've done a few veining already. Uh, not veining, creases already. Can you see, guys? Uh, I can maybe show you the difference between these two feet. Um, let me show you the difference. So, this one is the one that's done. Only one coat. And this one hasn't got any creases yet, except I've done it already there. So, you can see the difference. Well, they're both done this way. And I'm going to tell you a secret. I mean, not a secret, but an advice. I'm going to show you um, the mixture that I did is there's a mixture this is the mixture i'm using and i'm sometimes mixing these two because if you do the the creases too red it's not nice because it looks like they're bleeding so you've got to put a little bit of mauve in it lilac and then warm up the reed because the uh, girl gave me the tutorial and she's using that reed, but I don't like it very much because it's too reed. I prefer to use this color, which is warmer. So I mix these two, I always mix these two. So you'll see it, you see the difference. So should I bring that camera a little bit closer? Yes, I must because it is too far. You take your time, we're not in a hurry. Must be, 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 I think I'm going to be like a few, let's say 20 minutes with you, and then I'm gonna leave you doing it alone. Okay, I'm bringing this camera down. down. I try to fix my truck, but Sorry, I got my, my paintbrush in my mouth. Um, I've tried to fix my tripod and I fixed it with a little bit of piece of plastic to make sure that that camera is not falling down. Yeah, this is nice, like that. So let's begin. And also make sure that your paintbrush is always clean 
and then also also have um, ready uh, a brush ready for pouncing. So these are my brushes ready for pouncing and putting this out the way. All the kits are have been baked, which is nice. Then I'm going to take a little piece of paper to wipe my brush on. So this is very handy, that paper, that roll of paper. I like this roll of paper. It's very handy. So I'm going to put a little piece there. My table is actually full, full, full because I got these three kits. So I'm going to put this here and there we go. So I, I said that I'm going to use these two colors. Make sure your hands are clean. I've washed my hands. And there we go. Maybe I'm not going to do much talking. We can listen to the music. And if I've got something to say, well, I will talk. Okay. So let's start. And also you must have a very, very thin brush. I think I'm going to even buy a thinner one than that. So you put paint inside, see, then you take your brush, you can first take your sponge, dab it a bit, then you take a brush, because don't take everything off with a sponge, but you blend it with a sponge. Okay, that doesn't leave any traces of marks. So you can do, I've done that side, yeah, I think I must do these, yeah. Leave it for a little while, you don't have to dab it straight away. Take your tab. Don't take too much paint. Just take a little bit because in these little lines, you can see these little lines here. Let's just take a little, small little bit. That's why you need a very good lining brush. I need to buy one. I've done the veining of the plates of the body too. This is all patient work. Don't just like brush the paint on. Take your time to go in the nice little folds. Don't take too much paint on your brush. It just has to outline these creases. Oh, sorry, I was out of light on the camera. Sometimes it needs two coats. Sometimes it's enough with one. So don't make your paint too watery. I didn't add on any 
thinning medium not at a moment You can see what a difference it makes already. It's all little creases. The kit I had from um, my twins they had so many creases. It was like a never ending storm. But I took my time and it looks very nice. Well, I think I did quite well for my first twins. For my first uh, twins I made. I'm very happy. There's so many creases here also. Sometimes you can put a little tip of black in your paint also to make it darker. That you can see the depth. So relaxing. So a lot of creases. You can see the one that are done and the one that are not done. Okay, now we're going to take our little pouncing thing. Leave it a little while on that it can take then the, the vinyl can take the paint because otherwise it's going to come off too quickly and then you have to start all over again and then you take your brush it's always very nice to take your brush and then make sure that they are blend, <coughs> sorry, that the creases are blended. And sometimes if you see that Sometimes it can make you very tired because you do, like, if you do three kits, it's, it's very tiring. And work in the daytime, not in the night time, then you can see what you're doing. And then if you have, like, painted for two hours or three hours, just put it aside. Go and have a little rest. And then carry on. Sometimes you have to go oh I'm out of sometimes you have to go over it again. It's very relaxing. And the doggies are nice. They went a little bit outside with the girls. And then they came up because it was too it was too windy. 
so they came up for a short while they went on the outside for a short while I can see the difference already with the first first lot see So I'm going to carry on and you can also carry on And then I'm going to show you after that how you do your blue on the tones. I haven't done the blue on the tones yet. So we already did the veiling. We already did, see you can see here it must be a little bit more. And then here also. But I'll have to get a nice liner because this one is not such a good liner. Okay, that looks nasty. Check again. I'll take a little bit of paint. Yeah, the reason I don't like to have them read, there should be like a strawberry, a strawberry, not a strawberry, um, it said on my little pre pre-mixed colors strawberry strawberry creases so it's not red 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 it's a little bit towards the purple side you can see it it's not red it would not look nice you must see sometimes you see girls we got those red red feet no, I must have a warm color. Okay, this, okay, but I'm not happy with the foot here. Yeah? I think I need to know two more, two more, another coat of these little wrinkles here. Yeah? Let me put the spot out of the place. So, see here on this ankle, got some small little lines there. And this is giving such a nice result when you do the blushing and your little creases are done nicely. You can go over it as many times as you want till you're happy. This is the little foot from it's a girl. And then after that, I wonder if you can see this veining gas. Can you see this veining on this doll? I 
I'm sure you can see that. Okay, I'm going to pounce it. dry your brush off and you blend it very important important to blend it it's not nice to just see the stripes you just need to blend it so nice that it goes disappears in the vinyl and then with your layers that come on the top of it it looks so realistic foot just love this little foot okay that's nice let's see if the other one is okay this other one yeah looks nice to me can you see this little foot maybe I would do another coat but at the moment I'm happy and I will do now the, should I do the heat? Look his head. See the bedding on his head. It's been baked. I baked it after each layer. It's got about seven times in the, in the oven. And I'm so happy my other one's working. Goodness gracious me, we are already 22 minutes. Let me finish the heat and then I'm gonna have to say bye bye. But let me finish the heat first. Stay with you a little while more because I don't know if they're gonna allow me so long with that video. So. Um, let's first crease Have I got my other glasses now I should have my other glasses on but we can do it around the nose in the nose more paint always mix the two you can see me always mixing these two don't like a two read and then in the eyes Then we're going to bounce it. My little sponge. I got a new one. But uh, some girls say they don't advise to buy these makeup little sponges. I don't know why, because I like them. But you know why? Also, they say that these sponges that are a little bit too hard. They don't blend as nice as those from when you buy it from the reboard 
um, from the reborn items. So in the future, I'm gonna buy them online again by Dolce Passani or create a little magic in South Africa because maybe they're right, maybe they're a little bit too hard. I'm gonna stay say stay to 30 minutes and then I'm going to go and switch off the video because I've never had such a long videos so I'm gonna shade a little bit in the ears I forgot to I forgot to bounce with the brush. See that? Need a little another coat. Yes. Behind the ears also. Yeah, behind the ears. I'm a bit awkward to hold it because I want you I want you to see it in the camera. I love this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm so sorry guys, I would wish I could stay longer with you, but I'm going to carry on doing this work and switch off my video, otherwise it's going to take too long to upload it. But see this is the difference between this and starting to shade the I hope you have a nice afternoon and I she, she, shall see you maybe tomorrow. So yeah, I've got a lot of work, but I enjoy it and we shall see you later. Thank you for watching. I mustn't forget to have lunch because I'm so involved in my painting that I forget always to eat. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now.